for Sound Official Sex in the City Part 2 is in production and let's check in with Samara Riviera who is here online trying out for the film. What was the experience like Samara? I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> Can you believe it? I got up early. I was the first one here from all my friends. Vermix was here. His sister was here. Selena was here. Ryan, Anu. Many people were here and I was the first one here. Can you believe it? Oh my god. Now there's a big fashion statement with Sex in the City and a lot of the girls today look like Carrie Bradshaw. How did you pick out your outfit Samara? It was really hard. I had a couple of choices. Check out my outfit first. Look at my heels. Um, I had a couple of options and I didn't know which one to go with. Finally at the end of the day I just said you know what just go with very Samantha. I guess I'm very more Samantha inspired I guess. Now let's talk about the film Sex and the City. If you know the television show series, they've been very, very trans-inclusive. They were actually in the casting call. They said they were looking for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered folks for this film, for a scene. But when, when you went in for casting, there was nothing on the sheet that said trans. It was female or male. How did you go about that casting to let them know in a situation like this that you were trans, and how would you have liked them to have handled that? Well, actually, they did not specify in the advertisement they were looking for transgenders. They specified gays and lesbians. But I figured we're part of the community, and they've had a whole bunch of drag queens and trannies in the TV show, so I figured I might as well show up. And, you know, and hopefully that'll work for me, is because there were millions of females, and I thought, you know, there was only a couple of transgenders, so I thought, yeah, you know, that might work for me. And what I did was I put in where they said gender, male or female, I circled female, but then right above gender I put transgender. Well how do you think that that should be handled? Because if you were going into a casting, people would see you and they would just assume female. Do you, do you think you need to go that extra step and say I am trans? Or should they be casting trans people to play trans roles? How do you think that should be handled in the bigger scheme outside of Sex in the City? Well, for Sex in the City, I definitely thought it was appropriate for me to specify that I was transgender, so I think that was really cool because they're very trans-inclusive, I think. Um, for outside of Sex in the City, I don't know. I mean, I do extra work in movies, and when I go, I don't really say anything. I mean, either they know or they don't know. So it's kind of like not an issue, I think. So I think not make an issue out of it and just fill out female. Well, we will make an issue out of it if you get cast in the film because we would love to see Samara Riviera in Sex in the City. Only time will tell. What about you, Ryan? You were in the first part. Tell us how was it now that it's part two and you want to be in part two. Actually, part one was really, really fun. I got to do the restaurant scene. It's not even 10 seconds on camera when Carrie announces that she's getting married. And I go, oh, my friend's getting married. And I'm sitting in a restaurant and I went, and I just peeked over the side. I'm, I'm sure it's not even 20, mega, 20, 20 seconds of screen time, but it was a really good experience. And being a New Yorker, Sex in the City is quintessential New York City. And to be able to sit down in a restaurant and have an actual meal with Samantha and Carrie Bradshaw and Kristen Davis, that's just, even if I don't have time, I'd make the time as a New Yorker. It's quintessential. Yeah, and what else? How was your audition today? Here's the one thing that I learned. Cameras are very, very tricky. They're taking everyone's photograph. You can bring your own, but they'll take a photo and the, it clicks, but then it clicks again. So you really just have to stay in the moment and look right into that camera, and after it clicks, keep looking into that camera. That's my word of advice. I haven't done casting in a while, so I just went because I wanted to be in Sex in the City with you. Um, so that caught me off guard. And you always learn something when you go to a casting call. What'd you learn today? Uh, well, be on time. Be the first one here, <laughs> and you'll get through. And uh, you know, just you know, it didn't really matter what outfit you were wearing because they took the picture from like the waist up, and a lot of girls were like wearing these stiletto heels, standing in line the whole morning, and it what didn't even really matter. But you know, I guess they looked fabulous, and there was a lot of people out here doing interviews. Um, people from Wendy Williams were here. Wendy Williams show entertainment. Trend. I kind of thought it would be neat to get in the Hampton scene. Carrie Bradshaw, she goes to the Hamptons. She's got a house out there in real life. That's why I did the boating theme. So we'll see if I get out of the city in Sex in the City. It's Ryan checking in with Samara Riviera right here in New York City for casting on what, 18th Street? Sex in the City.